let's get started here. Um, we are on merry-go-round and in the 6 o'clock position we have our green town player playing for Cascade 1 bet and he is Complain. And to the 11 o'clock position in red, it's the, the Protoss player from AI, it's Prime Lord. And apparently these guys know each other as well. Hmm. They are not German players, right? No, they are talking in English. <laughs> <laughs> Would be ridiculous to talk in English when you have a German opponent. And you know it. No, he's a uh, complaint, is, according to his ESL page, he's. Um, Israelian. Okay. So these guys have some history? No. Only their countries do have history. <sighs> don't get started. Don't, <laughs> don't get started there. That's just the wrong route to take. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So we just leave it at that. But it was so obvious a joke, I just had to made it. Uh, but you know. um, did you yep. uh, ever see Complain um, participate in the Go For previously? No, I actually only saw him complain about Protoss. No, uh, no, I don't know him at all. I've not seen him either, and um, I don't know if he um, he beat Tomikus before, who's also a regular Go4 player. Mm -hmm. So he's got to be pretty good. I mean, uh, we okay. can look up his profile. By the way, in the meantime, we got some more results. BSK advanced over EXE, and he is now in the semi-final as well. And Snovsky and Coyote... Um, yep, Snovsky won that one. So it's gonna be the second semifinal is Snovsky versus BSK. Okay. I see. And that should Snofsky get started point. here pretty soon. Oh, okay. Probe is moving in. And he didn't see anything, didn't nope. even see the gas. He might have seen uh, a couple workers making their way um, to the gas. I'm not too sure. Well, actually, the first, uh, the first Marine is already telling him a lot. So, but still, of course, it would have been nice to see the gas and when it's been started and how many gas has already been taken but seeing um, seeing a marine first already tells him quite a, quite some things and uh, he's going to see the reacher uh, the, the reaper oh my god now it's starting it's getting reaper. too late <laughs> yeah he's going to see the reaper in just a minute at the latest when it arrives at his base and uh, but he will be able to fend it off no problem so yeah yeah first reaper is incoming prime lord has the nexus on the way and his mothership core is almost done as well, and the stalker of course in position. So with the stalker, he's just going to be fine uh, dealing with this reaper. Reaper might make its way on yep. top. Yes. <laughs> oh, barely misses it. His way by, yeah. yeah, I think he just went up uh, as soon as the stalker um, was going down the ramp. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> losing that reaper early on actually not that uh, uh, not that good for complain. Because that reaper might have been useful later on for just uh, scouting out what prime lot is doing. Yeah, that's right. You totally want to keep that Reaper for later on. And he did um, he did put some of his workers out of the gas, and he now put them back in. So, um, pretty uh, pretty economical opening for Complain. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty pretty normal for most Terrans. I mean, he just took the Fast Expand and then went into, uh, uh, went into Marine Production using a Reactor, and now he's adding the other Rexes. So he can go into Bioplay, which is the usual standard against Protoss. Yeah, I was going to. Uh, I was going to ask: uh, Have there been any changes since uh, I previously casted Starcraft? Well, I don't know what you so see. So far, late. it uh, doesn't look all that much different. Well, uh, I mean, I mean, the mines have gotten a, a serious buff lately by uh, getting extra shield damage, mm -hmm. which only affects Protoss units. And so since do we see mines in uh, P uh, TVP now? Well, the, the the actual problem is that only the threat of mine play just forces most Protoss to go into Robotech. And since most Terrans just know that fact, that Protoss are mostly opening um, Robo that day, they are just starting to produce their normal um, Marine Marauder Medivac plus Viking composition anyways. So maybe Protoss players could open Templar Tech again, but they just don't dare to because it's so damn risky. Because once you start to go into Templar Tech and then just he comes in with a Medivac and two mines, they just burrow inside your mineral line, you have no detection, and there your game goes. I'm kind of uh, weirded out by the fact that uh, Protoss don't actually scout all that much early on in uh, TVP, because, I mean, they could very well just send a Hallucinated Phoenix in there. Mm -hmm. To check if, uh, um, if the factory is incoming and what kind of add-ons this has, because yeah, well, 
that gives you a lot of information as well. And well, the problem is that normally as Protoss you don't want to produce any sentries at all because you just want to use that gas. And actually we have to say that uh, it's become even more difficult to fend off Terran right now as Protoss once they are trying to go to uh, the normal bio composition including Medivex. Um, because a lot of pro below, um, because a lot of Terran players nowadays want to uh, do um, an SEV pull together with uh, the first Medivac push, okay. and if Protoss doesn't have the necessary amount of AOE right at that point, he just dies immediately. Ooh, some nice force fields catching yeah. a couple of Marines off guard, getting three Marines there, and the Stalker is still alive, which is actually pretty vital as well. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of damage there on the sentry. Well, this marine push normally is not really supposed to do that much damage. It's mostly to um, fire off the Nexus Cannon in order to, uh, for, for the Militia core not to have that many Nexus Cannons available once the actual push comes. But he's really committing to this. He's moving in with a yeah, lot but of... He, al he also lost a couple of Marines on the way already. Mm. And we should be seeing a second uh, Orton Overcharge if necessary. So far, I think he's doing okay. Uh, he might not actually need it. And we will have two more force fields available in just a couple seconds. And yeah, the Colossus is out, so yeah. with the Colossus out, I don't think that these Marines pose too much of a threat now. Yeah, I think, well, Complain is quite on time. His first two medivacs are already out, or not are already out, are already in uh, in production. So they, he's probably going to rally these uh, way. Oh, Primal is moving out right now. I don't know how much I like this move. I think he might think that uh, the Terran has retreated there, but he hasn't. Uh, he just moves out to plant a pylon in a forward position. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. I like this, just having the pylons ready um, and already in position. Ooh, and he saw the medevacs just passing over the pylon. So he knows what's up. Uh, Mothership Core is still gathering energy, and he has a lot of a lot of force fits available now. Yeah. She should move in, uh, should morph in a couple more stalkers and maybe a couple more zealots even. Well, the problem is that he is now going to take all to take in all these um, all these marines and the medivacs and just drop them into the base. And um, the medivacs he must out. not have noticed then because yeah. uh, he's moving completely out of position, yeah. uh, not seeing any of these medivacs uh, drop into the main base, and he doesn't have a mothership core with the army, so there's not going to be a recall. And I think this drop by complaint is going to do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, now he's really at the point where he has to make a critical decision whether he wants to return right now or just oh, go for it. And the colossus. Oh, the Robo gets picked up before the Colossus moves out, and he even gets the gateway on top of it. Just now, I think it's going to be a base trade. Yeah, it has to be. And we have a couple of Vikings in position, but he took the first out. <laughs> and I think I like the um, I think I like Primal's army a little bit better. But then again, Marines are just a little bit more versatile. But if he keeps these Colossi alive and keeps the sentries alive, this is definitely the better army to face off against Complain. Yeah, well, the good thing on Merry Go Round is that uh, Terran can't really fly off a building and force a draw because there is no position where you can fly the building without Protoss reaching it, I think. There might be some little gaps where maybe stalkers are not, uh, where it's maybe not possible for stalkers to, to catch the building, but I don't think so. I think there's no dead spot on that base. By the yeah. way, Prime Lord already rebuilt his Nexus. Yeah. And, and so he's, nice he's getting there. for a sneaky base there, just to buy off more time. Ooh, Ooh but he's dying. not doing... Oh, jeez, he lost his Colossi and lost a lot of units on the ground as well. Uh, this is not going to be Prime Lord's game, I feel. Uh, 81 supply versus 52, and losing the Colossi, which was just a grave mistake by him. Yeah. With the Colossi, I think he might have still won that game, and now the Vikings even land. I think he's just going to clear this up, and nope, a couple more... Um, a couple more Zelts moving in. But this still might be enough <laughs> for Complain. Yeah, well, the problem is that Complain's push on the other half of the map is still uncontested. So even if Prime Lord manages to take down more units inside Complain's base, uh, Complain still has the bigger army on the other side of the map. So he can, and, and it's even more mobile than his own. So I don't really see him uh, having any more chances, especially since he dropped below 30 supply. <laughs> Yeah, and there's the GG, 1-0 for complaining. Uh, I, I didn't really like the way that uh, Prime Lot moved out here. Because he, like, I, I, he must have missed the Medivacs, because otherwise you don't really try to base trade if you don't have like a massive, um, like a massive, uh, massively better army.
Yeah, or uh, large well, actually, at that place. point, he didn't really have any chance. I mean, he was yeah, like, I mean, the map before yeah. he realized the drop inside his base. Exactly. So I think he either didn't see the Medivax or he vastly overestimated the power of his army. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense otherwise. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, moving on that point, not not really the best decision. It was especially it was a bit risky. He didn't have the. I mean, he he really has to take into account that his opponent might be on that side of the map. He didn't have any vision via the watchtower in the middle of the map, so he must have been aware that there might be uh, an army lurking, waiting just for a chance to move in. I mean, the timings haven't really changed since uh, Wings of Liberty, so the. Push timing at 10 minutes is still pretty normal, so I don't really know what so what got him there. <laughs> Amazing drops. <laughs> well, it wasn't really a drop, I mean, he just elevated all of his marines into the main base, and uh, for some reason Pranlot didn't have a um, pylon in position to just spot it out. So this is a pretty short distance map, so we might see some SEV pulls here. We'll see. It's currently 1-0 in favor of our Green Terran who spawned in the bottom left side uh, here on Overgrove. He's playing for Cascade 1 bet. It is Complain. And um, in the northern half of the map we have our Red Protoss being behind one game. It's from Alien Invasion Prime Lot. And He's moving out right away with a probe. Let's see if uh, Proxy Gateways will do anything for him. Uh, getting a nice little spot back here. And I doubt that this is going to be scouted out all too soon, but we have Complain putting down the first supply depot uh, close to the ramp. Yeah, so he's probably going for a wall off. So early zealots won't really do that much, but if he just works on that quickly enough and goes for a Summonetic score right behind it, he might be able to pressure him with an early lot and then stalk us afterwards. And that might do something, but still it's um, very risky to do so. Well, I think... But that doesn't make all, to, all that much sense, but maybe he was not too convinced of his skill in the last game, but that was mm. just, I don't know, gotten a little bit unlucky by then not, spot, uh, spotting the, uh, not spotting the Medivacs. Well, in this case, he got lucky because Complain decided not to wall off and instead just build his um, barracks close to the command center. And he's not going to Ooh, scout. He's not checking his mineral line. So, so the first zealot is going to get uncontested into the base of Complain, who is maybe even skipping the first marine and going for a reaper here. So yeah, this is this might be getting ugly. Uh, let's see how much damage that first cell will actually do. It's almost done. The Reaper uh, just started, just getting started with the production. And there we go. Probe moves in. Uh, regular timing for the probe, so I don't think Complain is going to notice just, uh, just at this minute. Well, maybe he has realized if he if he just realized that he hasn't met that probe on his own way to oh, uh, his opponent. He's going to realize it pretty soon. Oh, okay. even sent the SCV back. Oh, there we go. Bunker yeah. goes down and a second supply depot is incoming. So for some reason he did scout it out even though he didn't see it? Yeah, he, he just was in his opponent's base and saw that no building was oh, there. okay. <laughs> that makes sense then. And yeah, I think that that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's the bunker, the reaver, uh, the reaper is already um, firing at the zealots. And he probably won't go through these buildings. I mean, his only chance was to tear down one building that was already in production, so he cannot really repair it. But now the SCVs are counter repairing every building, and zealots just won't cut it. And then we have two units firing at the zealots from behind the wall. Now even from with, uh, from inside the bunker, uh, that's GG. Yeah, he was risking everything, not really getting it, and it was, I don't know, I really didn't like that. Yeah, not at all. I mean, as far as skill is concerned, I think there were pro uh, both. Uh, pretty much uh, even uh, in the first game and I don't know risking it for the second game uh, I mean of course if you want to get to the finals pretty fast then sure go for it but <laughs> I don't know we have no time left I think he had, I, I think he had a good chance just taking it regularly so 